Here are four things you do to improve your libido. Make sure you stay to the end because that one will actually really surprise you. If you know and follow me as a reproductive acupuncturist, I'm always going to try and identify what's the underlying issues causing the low libido. So let's talk about those. The first is fatigue. If you're super tired, I don't know about you, but the last time I was really, really tired, I am not in the mood to baby dance. So we have to figure out then what are the underlying issues causing the fatigue. If we fix those and you have a healthy relationship, usually libido will come back without any other intervention. Now let's talk about two. This actually goes along with fatigue. If you have too much on your to-do list, if you are carrying too much of a load at your house or at work, then you're going to be mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally blown out. You just don't have anything to give to anybody else when you get to the end of the to-do list at 10 o'clock at night and then climb into bed and thinking you wanna be close to somebody. So start looking at your to-do list and thinking about who can I delegate? Even if you have four-year-old children, they can do things like unload the silverware, get hubby involved, get your mom or in-laws involved if they live near you. Next, and this one's not easy, but the quality of your relationship will have a huge impact on your libido. If your partner does not treat you with dignity and kindness and respect on a regular basis, you're gonna slowly become less generous with opening the doors to the baby dancing. If you know what I mean, we're on TikTok, so we gotta keep it clean. So maybe this involves talking to a counselor or you can use Kirsten AI and talk to the emotional support app. She's very good at helping you process these feelings and coming up with strategies to talk about what's going on for you, get clear about what you want and need and ask it. Let's go to the last one, which is my favorite. In my clinic, we always use two things. We used the Forever Brazen PMS support and you're like, PMS, it's my libido. It's because it helps you to reduce your PMS, it helps you to be more resilient to stress, and helps to regulate your hormones, all which helps to produce a healthier libido. And then high dose, high quality vitamin E. The last one is high dose, high quality vitamin E. It's important to remember that vitamin E, if it's synthetic, has fairly low therapeutic effect, but a high dose, high quality vitamin E, like the one we use at Conceivable, it comes from the annatto plant, is incredibly effective. And the research shows that it's impactful for both male and female libido. Why? Because it highly oxygenates the blood and drives it to the pelvis. Anytime you get more blood in the lady bits or the man bits, you're going to have increased sensation and increased arousal. I'll put links in the caption for both of you want to check them out. Otherwise, if you have other strategies that might be helpful for others, leave them in the comments. Questions, you can leave them there and I'll see you then.